Have you heard, boss? What's this nonsense? Excuse me. You have given me the wrong post. Is it this? Chandana and Chandanas. Hmm. Are you chain or something? No, we are not a bloody chain. Well, that's got to be confusing. Not if you can read, you idiot. Mama finished. Five minutes and then we're leaving. Serve it while it's hot, Chandu. It's not for my in-laws. Go! So, why are we here? Oh, this is a romantic dinner. Something couples do, apparently. No smart ass. What are we doing in this place? We've never been to an Indian restaurant together. Yeah, tell me again. Why is that? Because nowhere's as good as my dad's. Well, until I meet your father and taste his food, I really couldn't say, could I? That's what this is about. You will meet him. It'll just be simpler if we wait and... and... Until we're engaged. <gasps> Anything wrong, madam? Um, no. I mean, yes. No, there's nothing wrong with the food. Although, if you really want to know, the cauliflower in the aloo gobi was overcooked. I thought it was great. You're clueless. And the dal had a little too much garlic, I think. Wow. My grandmother's. <laughs> it's beautiful. What's the problem? She said the gobi was overcooked. What? Wait, wait, look, look, look. Oh, wow. I know. <laughs> this look, is amazing. Look at the view. Oh, Mark. Yeah. You happy? Yes, very happy. Mark, I love you so much. I love you. Oh, and I'm so hungry. What? Yeah. We didn't have dessert. Well, no, because someone got thrown out of the restaurant, didn't they? Please. You love me that much. Yes, I love you that much. <laughs> I love everything about you, even your weird appetite. I think I can wait for dessert. Next one. Uh, yes, could we have the cheesecake and the chocolate mousse? And yes. ice cream. And ice cream. Flavours? Just a little bit of everything, I think. Thank you.
Have I told you lately that I'm engaged? Yep, a couple of times. <laughs> thank you. Oh, it's all right. I quite like it, too. No, thank you for being patient. Uh, I think two years qualifies as very patient. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. You see, my dad is very, very Indian. <laughs> In Hindi, there isn't even a word for boyfriend. So if I told him I was seeing anyone, he'd have started making wedding plans, which might have scared you off. My uncle's even worse. Well, now they can both scare me to their heart's content. I'm just... We could go up now, if you like. You're very sexy without your clothes on, but you might want to wear a suit when you meet my dad. Mm -hmm. He's very traditional. Well, I'll wear whatever he wants. I'm just looking forward to meeting him. I know. Just let me go up and see him on my own first and sort a few things out. I've taken a few days off for Holly anyway. Okay. One more thing. Do you mind if I don't wear my ring back to Leicester? It's just if Dad sees it before I tell him with his heart issues, it might not be so great. Okay. Yeah, I'll bring it up next weekend. Somebody came and did this, and no one heard anything! How can this keep happening? I was away for ten minutes! It wasn't anyone's fault, Roger Saab. The kitchen was busy, the mixer was on, the potato peeler, the dishwasher. It was very noisy, huh? Kirit, my rito kismati kharab hai. Oh, my brother, you have to kill me, and these are my work. Everyone is dead. Your daughter came to me. I don't think she'll come to me. No, boss. She just called me to tell me that she's coming to me. That she's coming to me. That she's coming to me. अच्छा मेरी बच्ची अगले हफ्ते घर आ रही है अच्छा सुनो वो हेल्थ इंस्पेक्टर के आने के पहले पहले सब साफ कर दो समझ गए बेटा मैं बंबई का बाबू नाम मेरा अंजाना इंग्लिश गुन में तरह हाय टेबल इलेवन कॉल टू कंफर्म ट्वाइस पास नोबडी कॉल्स ट्वाइस टू कंफर्म अ बुकिंग पानी चुटा मिल दिस आलिया गो टू द किचन Four. Everyone's been served. Are you bloody joking me? How long have you been working here? Three and a half years, boss. Then you should know there's always something to do in a restaurant. Go and peel some onions or dry some plates. Go and do something. Okay. No, it's impossible. Get you're a surgeon. You're supposed to be good with your hands. Hands is plural. Right, I'm hungry now. What's the big deal? No big deal. Feel free to employ the left hand, the hand traditionally used to wipe the arse, then suck from your prospective father-in-law's carefully prepared Hindu feast. You're keen to impress him, and that will impress him. That will take the edge off the ravenous man. Who asked who for help? Something I'm already regretting. I'm making Asian out of you yet. Oi, 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 left hand. My house, my rules. Don't forget to pick your sister up from the station, you lazy. I'll be busy getting her dinner ready. You told me I'm there. Chill, man. Nobody wants to work anymore. They want to get paid for doing nothing. If they're so useless, give them the sack. Sack? They've got me by the bloody sack, squeezing without mercy. They know it's impossible to find an Indian waiter with all this European Union bullshit. You know what this country would be without Indian doctors, waiters, chefs, hmm? Sick and starving. Get someone else then. Who else wants to work in an Indian restaurant, you tell me? The Polish student who was looking for work. Don't be absurd, woman. Because he doesn't speak Hindi. Half your staff don't speak Hindi. Your children don't speak Hindi. Not the stupidest idea you've had. Balls work hard, like Indians. Sometimes I wonder why I married someone so charming. Marry a charmer if you want. They won't bloody feed you. I can feed myself, thank you. You? And before you utter another syllable, Think about the consequences. Dean! Hey, there she is. 
Halin has not been home for months. I'm cooking all her favorites. <laughs> So, I'm going to ask Dad to sort things out with Uncle Juggy. Oh, man, look, I'm all about the love, but that's not realistic. The old boy's still super vexed. You want to get him smoking again, that's the way to do it. I want all the family at the wedding. I want the dinner to be cooked by my dad and my uncle. You know, last few months, it's got a lot worse between them. Why? Uncle Jay's been emptying bin bags outside Dad's kitchen, then called the health inspectors with an anonymous tip-off. He wouldn't do that. Well, Dad's totally convinced. And Uncle Jay reckons Dad's been making bogus bookings. Someone's been doing it, right? It's been tough around here. People going out of business, poaching staff, undercutting prices. You've not been around. I know. Guy's doing all right at the young guys who do deliveries. Fast food. I thought business had been good since the Food Guide review. Shovels, man, that was a year ago. You've barely been back since. That review has only created more aggravation. Thank you very much, Hans. Thank you. Enjoy it. Good samosas. Thank you for coming tonight. Thank you very much. Goodbye. They didn't order any of my main courses. You know how many starters they had? They were stuffed around us, huh? Not stuffed enough. If this is how my fate is written, then I must accept it. I thought you'd be looking a bit more excited, Dad. Ah, oh, my little girl is home. How are you? Happy to see you. Well, you don't look it. Well, I am. What about me, big guy? I see you every day chillaxing on the sofa. Been keeping my dad out of trouble, Kiritji. <laughs> <laughs> Can we eat, please? I'm starving. Yes, yes, yes. Come. I love being home. You love eating, man. Where'd you put it all? You changed the recipe for the aubergine starter. Nothing wrong with Uncle Praveen's recipe. You changed something. This is better. A recipe is only ever as good as its interpreter. What is a pinch of jeera? God has made all our hands and hearts different. <laughs> okay, tell me something. What was wrong with the aloo gobi? Oh, shit, man. Do you have to stop? I won't get upset. And don't call me man. I'm your bloody father. I saw your sister's face, and I know it wasn't perfect. What's perfect, Dad? Your Tadima's recipe. And it isn't the same, is it? No, it's not the same. Tadima's recipe had a little mango powder, I think. I'm sure. Oh, yes, I'm sure. It did. Your memory and taste are exceptional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> learn. Learn something. Learn from your sister. Man. What about that? Deva Yang on a sepele, Rajeke Yang Gata. Many good Ungo Rasta per decata. Ye lo Kamesha essay hikarte. Because of that sala kutta kamina food critic. For the ultimate Indian experience, do what the locals do. Eat your starter here and your main course there. Why doesn't he offer his sister for dessert here for the ultimate experience? Alugo biliai. Nahi. मैंने कहा था बोलना नहीं। ओ बोला नहीं मेरी माँ। मैं सुबह बना दूँगा। सिलिनी को मैं रीहीटेड फूड नहीं खिलाऊँगा। I'm a Chandana, not Ronald McFucking Donald. And that girl, unlike the fruit of my loins, can taste the difference. जगी, I'm not one of your staff. मैं तुम्हारी बीवी हूँ। माफ करो। I'm tired. मुझे लगता समोसे जस्ट राइट थे पर कोई ऑर्डर नहीं करता योर मदर वाज ब्यूटीफुल गुड इन कुक दो हर मटर पनीर वाज द बेस्ट हर वन डिश यस इट वाज यू कुकिंग आई डिड रियली हैव द टाइम Dad, 
there's something I need to tell you. Yes. This might come as a surprise, but I'm getting married. Who is he? Someone I've known for a while. What is his name? Mark. Mark. You know, I have to say, there's a big part of me thought I'd never meet her dad. I never thought she'd go through with it, mate. What did you... You said there are lots of couples in the same situation. They are. But what I didn't tell you is that most of the time it doesn't work out. I didn't want to worry you. Well, thanks. Scare me now. It's just that generation. Traditional. Straight from the village. Her dad's from Delhi. I'm talking about Leicester. Have you ever been? No. Dark place. It's all fine now, though. You're going to visit the dad, and she's had time to cancel, and she hasn't. Here, Gaya swung by Southall to pick these up. In-laws holy presents. Enough sugar in these bad boys to stop a raging bull or enraged father-in-law. Not that he'll be enraged. It's just Indian dads, you never know. I'm terrified of my father-in-law. And I'm Indian. And loaded. His parents are English? Yes. Hmm. You're not all right with this. What does he do? He's a doctor. What sort of doctor? A trauma surgeon. Dad. I know this might not be what you wanted. Why don't you understand? You being happy means more to me than anything. Are you happy? I am very happy. Then why would I not be? Huh? <laughs> My only regret is that your mother isn't here now. Thank you, Dad. This means so much to me. Hey, I want to show you something. That was the day of our wedding. I haven't seen this before. Back home at that time, being a chef meant you were basically a servant. We came here looking for a better life. When your mother had had enough of fighting, when she just couldn't take any more chemotherapy. She made me promise her whatever Shalini wants. She just wanted you to have the kind of wedding we could never have dreamed of. I'm so sorry, Dad. No, no, I'm sorry. It's a happy time and I'm spoiling it. Huh? <laughs> so, tell me whatever you want. Whatever I want. Of course. Oh. What is it? I want all the family to be at the wedding. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to call everyone. I'm talking about Uncle Jaggi. What? I want you to invite Uncle Jaggi. He'll come if you go and see him. Go and see him? Have you been speaking to them? Yes. I asked you not to. I'm sorry, Dad. He's my uncle. And I'm your father. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Please, Dad, don't be ridiculous. Me? Ridiculous? Do you know what he's been up to only this week? If he wants to come to me, I'll talk to him. Why should I go to his house? Because I'm your daughter. Now you blackmail me. I'm not blackmailing you. This is just a chance to sort things out. I don't want to sort things out. You're happy with things as they are. Is this my fault? I don't know. We don't talk about it. But this can't just be because you sold a family recipe. So... You have taken his side. I'm not taking anyone's side. I just want to have the wedding I want. Will you at least think about it? There's nothing to think about. I can never go to him. You said whatever I want. You just told me you promised Mum. Ask me anything else. If it can't be the way I want it to be, I won't have an Indian wedding. I'm not going to be a hypocrite, have a Hindu blessing, when it would have no meaning. You know how much this hurts me. That's not what I want to do. Ask me for anything else. But I can never go to your uncle. Meri khuddari meri liye sab kuch hai. Aur bina khuddari ke jine se to mar jana behtar hai. I thought family came before everything, even if it means sacrifice. 
Isn't that what Daddy Ma used to say? This is Mark's phone. I can't talk to you at the moment, so leave a message and I'll call you back. Hi, Mark. It's me. I was hoping to speak to you. Um, so, look, I know you're excited about meeting Dad, but there's a slight change of plan. Dad and I had a bit of an argument last night. Don't worry, everything's fine. But I'm going to need another week to sort things out with my family. So can we postpone you coming up until next weekend? I'm really sorry. I know you've waited two years but I just need one more week, okay? Um, I love you. Speak to you later, bye. So good to see you. Welcome home. Look who's here. Happy Holy Cousins. Happy Holy Beauty. Oh. oh, and congratulations. A surgeon is a husband. Bit unoriginal, isn't it? I want to say it's good to see you, but I almost didn't see you. You've lost so much weight. <laughs> I really haven't. One way to check. <laughs> what do lawyers basically do? Basically. We argue with each other until one of us wins. Mm. Seema would make a good lawyer. You're right, Sonu, and you're gonna do really well in the call center. Mango powder. Too much? Mm. It's perfect. Your daddy ma spent a lifetime getting the recipe right. I know. I have to get to the restaurant. The holy lunch rush. I've got something for you. Uh, yeah. What is this nonsense? Let us see. I got it engraved. Such a gift. You have to take something for it. Ah, you know what they say? Cut our ties forever. You superstitious. I'm full of surprises. Or Bhagwan ke liye khana bana shuru karo. It's still the same. It's easier to be an uncle. Give your father some time. I'll talk to Jaggi later. Now I have something for you. I can't take this. Daddy Ma gave it to you. I can't. Whatever happens, you'll wear it on your wedding day. Promise me that. I promise. <laughs> yo, 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 you're listening to Guru FM, the smoothest sounds in Leicester. And it's Holly People, the festival of colour and the start of spring. Time to get your paint and stomachs ready for action. Hello, hello, five, ten minutes, that's all, yeah? I'll get you a good table at the front, yeah? Oh, Barrett, take a sort of a table three, yeah? Hello, hello, how are you? Chaat, chicken, chaat, aat, masala, dosa, teen, naam, keen, lasti, door chai, table six, clear. Kid, give it the yargar. Happy Holy Week. I didn't see you this morning. I was here early. Dad, last night, I didn't want to upset you. I know, my wee dad. I'm sorry, too. You need some help? No, 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 you go and enjoy. You're not here to work. 
Are you sure? <laughs> I'm doing this a long time. Dad, you got any money on you? Yeah. Open it later. Huh? <laughs> you shouldn't be buying this. My job, they do pay me. Oh, <laughs> wait. Ah, take something for your friends and see that they don't eat that fast food kachara. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a connoisseur. I've tried them all over the world. Your old man is the godfather of chart. It's true, it's true, he's the don. But your uncle's Joe Lepature, man. No one can touch that, not even my mum. We ain't talking Joe Lepature. We're talking about chart. I know, I know that, but I reckon it's relevant, because after the chart, I like to move to the Jolie. I'm Punjabi, it's a classic move. Man, have a little respect. You know the score. Oh, it's all right, Jen, I'm with Cam on this. My uncle's chole is the best, but should definitely be preceded by my dad's chart. Right. Yo, yo! <laughs> Shit, Dave! You can never have too much ammo, people. It's time. <laughs> you look constipated. I've made a decision. About what? Tomorrow morning, I'm getting on a train to Leicester. I'm gonna meet Shalini's father. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. If it's such a big deal to him that I'm not Indian, he can tell me face to face, mano a mano. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I mean, I respect your cojones, but the guy's a chef and has all kinds of blades. You, know, you living in sin with his daughter, do you see what I'm saying? Something terrible could happen. Besides, I met the guy and he seems a little fiery. What did you just say? Uh, you know, he's a chef and they're temperamental and they possess all manner of blades. No, 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 no. You've met Shalini's father? Yeah. Didn't I tell you? No, you bloody did. When did you meet him? Some wedding. The Asian brethren were out in force, so I represented. It's no big deal. Shalini never invited me. Not directly, anyway. One, two, three! <laughs> We always close early on Holi because it's a time to be with your families. Thank you all for your hard work. Bharat? Mm -hmm. Kate? Thank you. <laughs> Kirit? Thank you. My wife asked if you wanted to join us for dinner tonight. You know my children are at home. Kal <laughs> I tried. The photographer's getting annoyed. Wait, is 
this a gift? Why? If it is, you need to give Raja something for it. <sighs> More superstition. Jaggi, give your brother some money. And then both of you come out of the kitchen. Marty Kathy. You're getting bad as she is. Come on, Dad, Uncle. I'm starving. Come on. <laughs> oh, Shalini, you're always hungry. वो सिर्फ चाहती है कि आप दोनों मिलकर उसकी शादी का खाना बनाए क्या यह बहुत बड़ी चीज मांग रही है तुम्हें लगता है मैं गलत हूं अपने भाई के मिलने से क्या तुम गलत हो जाओगे अपनी इज्जत तो मैं बिना नहीं जी सकता लेकिन फैमिली के बिना जी सकते हो नॉट माय चॉइस राजा तुम्हें शादी में नहीं बुलाएगा इसलिए शलिनी को सारा इंतजाम खुद करना पड़ेगा और उसकी शादी नहीं होगी जैसे वो चाहती है उसको ये भी पता लग जाएगा कि वो दो लोग जिन्हें वो सबसे ज्यादा प्यार करती है उनके लिए अपनी जिद ज्यादा बड़ी है अब तुम उसकी शादी की बात भी नहीं करोगे इससे हम सब दुखी होंगे और इसके बारे में मैं जितना ज्यादा सोचती हूं उतनी ज्यादा शर्म आती है Sharma's new place. He spent some money. Hey, Jando! You didn't clean the toilets. What are you looking at? Shalini, I didn't know you were back. Was that Chandu? Yeah, yeah, he's working for me now. Since when? Oh, come on, you know your uncle's temper. Not as well as you, mate. This is a big place. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we got a bar, we got a restaurant, we've even got a function room for wedding parties. Oh, that's funny. I'm looking at some venues myself. You. You're getting married. It looks short. To who? You don't know. Right. Uh so you're looking for a venue. Is your dad finally retiring then? Or we're just surveying our options. Oh, come and take a look. We open this week. I would love to show you around. It's a shame you missed out on all the holy trade. Our restaurant's been rammed today. Hey, Charles. Yeah, well, I better get going. I'll drop by. Yeah, you do that. Don't like him much, do you? Didn't like him when he worked for us. Don't like him now. I'm still coming to see his place. I want to see what crimes against taste that relentless prick has perpetrated. They pretend to be friends, but restaurant people all hate each other. I know. because they all come here eat sweets and speak the truth to abdul who doesn't want to be known as the best chef in little india whose business couldn't use the publicity dad and uncle have to enter the competition how's that going to help cooking together spending time in the kitchen they'll see what they've been missing the rules are you have to prepare a complete meal which they can't do without each other i just can't see them going for it I have an idea which might help convince them. Hello, thanks, Uncle. Shalini, what? She's one of the judges. Ah. They confirmed it today. My third jury, here, in Leicester. Strange as that sounds. To cook for her would be such an honor. Why don't you enter then? No, 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 no! I'm too old for such nonsense. That's what people have been saying. What people? What did Abdul say? They called the Chandanas cowards. The Gosur ke bache question my family's honor in front of Shalini, gossiping like she's not even there. They dare upset my niece. They say our name stands for nothing anymore. They said this. How was that, Dad? What happened to this place? People had morals. They loved our food and respected us. You have to enter, Dad. You and Uncle Jockey should enter together. What? तुम्हें शराब पीती हैं? राजा के साथ झगड़े से 
ज्यादा जरूरी तुम्हारे लिए अपनी फैमिली की इज्जत होनी चाहिए On a purely practical note, you haven't come up with a single new recipe since Jadu. Not because I can't. Dad, you haven't even been able to recreate the main courses from the other half of the recipe book. I never used to cook them. He did. That can't be the reason you found it so difficult. Have you ever asked yourself if deep down you really want to cook them? तुम किसी भर भरोसा नहीं कर सकते. इतना तो मान सकते हो. ये बिली की टट्टी है. कभी किसी की सलाह ली है? इसलिए कि उस पे पर भरोसा करता है. इतना नहीं करते हो. कि वो एक काम कर सको जो उसके लिए सबसे ज्यादा बढ़िया है इसने टाइम टू फिकेव एंड फिकेट हाउ ही डजेंट लेट मी एम्प्टीइंग रबिश बैग्स आउटसाइड माय किचन कॉलिंग हेल्थ इंस्पेक्टर्स बुकिंग टेबल्स जस्ट टू कॉज ट्रबल ही वांट्स टू कंटिन्यू दिस नॉट मी यू वांट मी टू गो टू योर अंकल दैट्स व्हाई यू आर डूइंग दिस ही मेड इट परफेक्टली क्लियर यू वोंट सो आई एम गेटिंग ऑन विद द वेडिंग प्लान्स ऑन माय ओन दैट यू शुड डू व्हाट यू वांट अबाउट द कंपटीशन वी आर ओनली टेलिंग यू बिकॉज़ वी थॉट यू शुड नो You are right. You both are. I will enter this competition, but not with him. I'll do it on my own. कैसे? Tomorrow I will start practicing new recipes, and you'll see कैसे. Is Nora in there, Pavel? Mr. Chandana, he's maybe a bit tense. <laughs> Want some advice, man? Stay out of his way. Agree with everything he says. Take this guy a menu and go to the kitchen. Ask for a sag paneer dali with corn flour chapatis. Should not I wait for his order? We call him Mr. Sag paneer dali. Across the road, they call him Mr. Special Mix. He comes in here every week for the last ten years. Looks at the menu, asks about all the specials. What is the same thing? Huh. Oh. Well, every now and then, I am sprinkled with my family's culinary genius. Yes, Mr. Chandana, I agree with everything you say. Chandana? Yes. I'm Mark. Mark? I'm a friend of Shalini's. Oh. Mark. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> My staff thought you were a health inspector. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, please, please sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Has anyone offered you tea? Huh? <laughs> Kirit uh, Mark <laughs> Okay Hello Mary wifey What's going on You said I never trusted you to taste my dishes huh I present to you a brand new juggy main course Get on with it dad Lamb and asparagus curry with mint and yogurt. That's really good, Jackie. It's not bad, Dad. It's really nice, Dad. <laughs> What's in the other box? Hmm. What is it? Pani puri starter, inspired by my great great grandmother Urmila. Doesn't look like Urmila's pani puri. Is that red Leicester cheese? I don't want you to bend it. I want you to taste it. I don't want to. Don't look at me. 
Do I look stupid? There's something wrong, Jaggi. It smells... strange. Strangely exotic. What's in it? Uh, same ingredients as usual, with a little twist. Will you just try, Papa? No. You say I never ask you to taste anything. Fine. I will have the honor. I probably shouldn't this early, <laughs> but my daughter is not here to keep a check on me. Mm. You're not going to have some? Oh, no, thank you. I ate before I came. But it's holy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Um, Mr. Chandana, I'm here. Is it good? Yes, it's very good. It's very filling. I never trust a man without a sweet tooth or a savory tooth. In fact, I never trust a man who doesn't enjoy his food. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you very much, Kirit. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's delicious. It's really sweet. My grandfather's dusra recipe. Mm. We use it only on special occasions. <laughs> um, Mr. Chandra, mm. I'm here because... It's very good. If you have a problem, I'm here to talk. But I want to marry your daughter. Yes, she told me. She told you about me? Of course, she's my daughter. Right. Well, I came up to ask your permission. My permission? Yeah. <laughs> Well, of course, you have my permission. I don't serve my grandfather's dusra samosas to anybody, you know. <laughs> oh, by the way, when is your birthday? Classic red, pink, violet, cream, gold. Shalini, whatever happens, you're still getting married. You've got a few days off, so as somebody who knows how precious that is, I would strongly advise you start using it. You're right. Um, cream. Cream, I think. Now we're getting somewhere. So, I've got something a little different to show you. Rani! <laughs> you must be joking. That's a wedding outfit. Think your dad will see the funny side? I phoned the Pandit in India. It's very good news. Your horoscopes match perfectly. He emailed me the charts. Uh, uh, what would happen if they didn't match? Uh, they do, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Have those idiots not brought your dessert? Uh, no, no, I'm fine, really. I asked them to wait. I, I've eaten a lot. <laughs> but it's holy. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I really am. Have you got a bathroom I could use? Oh, Kirit, show my future son-in-law to the bathroom. Have you ever seen such an auspicious star alignment, Kirit? No, boss, I haven't. <laughs> what is it? Nothing. My beloved Pushpa said to me a long time ago, as soon as we choose to live here, educate our children here, their world would be different from ours. Would I prefer an Indian son-in-law? <laughs> He's a surgeon, studied at Oxford, and he makes my girl happy. Can a father ask for any more than that? That's right. Sonia Gandhi used to be Italian, boss. As long as they have an appetite, God has blessed everyone with the potential to be Indian. Huh? Well said. Huh? Well said, Kirit. Uh -huh. Well said. Uh -huh. <laughs> Here. 
Have some burfi. Oh. Mm. What are you looking so pleased about? My daughter's home. Isn't that enough for any father? Even one who only yesterday was having such a fierce disagreement with his daughter. Uh, today's a new day. And I have a surprise for you. That makes two of us. I've been shopping for wedding outfits. I thought you might like to see some. What do you think, Dad? You're just trying to scare me. You're not going to wear that. My wedding, Dad, my rules, unless you want to invite. I told you, you would be surprised. There is not a single father-in-law on the planet who loves his future son-in-law as much as your old man loves me. I nailed it. And can you believe that idiot Vinod told me not to come? I mean, I was tested, but I didn't enter the pressure. I ate like an Indian. And even that, um, the tall, weird waiter. Kirit. Kirit. Gave me a little nod. Shalini, I'm practically a local. Oh, and the skimpy little number? I completely approve. What's wrong? Nothing. Well, this is amazing news. Yes, it is, and it's really good to see you. <laughs> but... I thought you weren't coming up till next week. Well, what difference does it make? I met your dad. I have his approval. Um, it's really great that Dad likes you. Uh, loves me. Loves you. Loves you, yes. Sorry, am I missing something? Because it really couldn't have gone any better. It, look, even our horoscopes match, apparently. You gave him your birth date? Yeah. Shalini, what's wrong? I've never told you this before. My dad and my uncle haven't spoken to each other in over 10 years. They have rival restaurants and they're now trying to put each other out of business. Why? Nobody knows for sure because we're not allowed to discuss it. Why haven't you mentioned this to me before? Because I thought I could sort it out on my own. I thought that a daughter's wedding would make them see sense and talk. I didn't think they'd be this stubborn. Your family is so lovely and normal, and mine is so bad-tempered and chaotic. And I just wanted to sort things out before you met them, before your family met my family. Do you see? Yeah. Are you angry? Because I would be if you kept something like this from me. I'm a little upset, yeah, but that's because this is important to you. You love your uncle as much as you love your dad, and I want you to be able to tell me anything. I'm sorry. It's just, there are some things that Indians can't talk about. <laughs> I've never spoken to anyone about any of this because it drives me mad. But I've never told my dad about any of my boyfriends. And I've never told any of my boyfriends about my family. Can we just leave now, go to Vegas and get married on our own, please? No, we can't. Because Vegas isn't very me, is it? And it certainly isn't you getting married without friends and family. Nothing matters to me more than you. I have to go home, but you should stay here for a couple of weeks and fix this. You really want a wedding without your dad or uncle? and turning all night. Sorry. What are you doing? Make a chimney out. It's the middle of the night. I need to work on my starters. <laughs> it's only practice, not bloody jatu. <sighs> You're up early. Uh, I haven't been to bed. You entered then? Uh, what is it? A new starter. I was thinking more like muesli this morning, but if you want an opinion. Oh, it's good. Local strawberries, Indian mangoes, yogurt, spices. 
Mm. And uh, Papri's. <laughs> a breakfast chart. <laughs> Maybe for the morning of your wedding. <clears throat> Just because you got our horoscopes done behind my back doesn't mean I've suddenly changed my mind. There'll be no Indian wedding, Dad. I want you to finalise plans before you met Mark. I'm very pleased he came. Of course you are. You had our charts matched. You want to see them? No, Dad, I don't. I was just asking. You know what I want to see? What? A main course. You've been practising those two? Because you'll have to cook both for the competition. when you fight in the kitchen. You'll help me with the starters, Raja. Jaggi will help me with the main courses. That way, you will stay out of each other's way. Mm. Take a seat. I'll get you a drink. Chandu, Uncle. How are you? Don't have your wedding reception here. Please. We just came to have a look. What are you doing here? Juggy was angry. He sacked me again. I have to work. I have a family. I'm so sorry about my uncle. Sherman needed a head waiter. But before today, I swear, I did not know. Not know what? What's going on? Why are we closed? What's going on, Kiriji? Dad! Go away! Go away! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Give me the bottle, Dad. Shh. You are my daughter. Not my mother. Although sometimes I can't be sure. Raja Sahib. You betray me, Kirit. You found a new hiding place for my cigarette. You traitor. Let's get you some water, Dad. What has my life become? What has my life become? I can't cook a main course. And my daughter is getting married in her bloody underwear. Come on, no, Dad. No, no, no. no. Are they coming? Yep. I know you don't want to be here. You don't have to talk to each other. You just have to listen. The council bookings, the health inspectors. Don't forget the bin bags and rack. Dad, this was all Rak Sharma. What? Why? He spent a fortune on his place, owes some scary people a lot of money, and there's a lot of competition in the area. How do you know this? Chandu. How does Chandu know? He's been working for Sharma. You sacked him again. I lost my temper. I didn't mean it, huh? I never trusted that jackal Sharma. You shouldn't have trained him then. Which fool hired him? Stop it! What are you going to do about it? I'm going to punch that kota on his tete. I think you might be a bit late there. <laughs> That's my nephew, huh? That's my son. <laughs> He's entered the competition. Hired a top Indian hotel chef. How did that tricky bastard get him a work visa? Probably paid some haramzada off. If he wins, he'll use the publicity and his restaurant will no doubt be a great success. Won't happen. Because that hijra can't beat me. With your so-called Pani Puri, I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> How are your main courses coming along, Dad? <coughs> if you two really care about the reputation of this family, which was once about beautiful cooking, you'll enter this together and win. The purpose of this is to practice the format and 
to taste for each other. You will also taste the dishes, no? We do this properly or not at all. Four ingredients plus garlic and parsley. Parsley. Non-traditional, locally sourced ingredients. <laughs> it tastes like dhania. Tell your uncle. He heard you. A starter and a main course. 20 minutes from now. 20 minutes? A little less now. Word. I have something for you to bring you some luck. Good luck. Now, 25 teams, five heats. The winner of each heat goes through to the grand final. Ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you to put your hands together for the head of your jury, actress and Indian cooking legend, the one, the only, Madhu Jaffrey. <laughs> One starter, one main course. Three spices, four main ingredients. And you've got 30 minutes. And your time starts now. Get cooking! <laughs>
knives and pans down, please. Knives and pans down. Now, for the first round of tasting. It's nearly seven. How about to announce the finalists? Well, well, well. I'm surprised you oldies managed to uh, bury the hatchet. But just out of interest, who apologised to her? Piss off, you bloody chutney peddler. Chutney? Wasn't it a chutney recipe that you fell out over? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You better bugger off before I dig out that hatchet and make you a hijra. Hey! Don't dare touch my brother, you bloody shit maker. I didn't think I'd ever see that. We'll see who wins, huh? Kota. Once a Kota, always a bloody Kota. Our finalists are from Birmingham, Saffron and Spice. Not least. Please, God. From Leicester again is the child that I brought! Your food is really quite, quite remarkable. Oh. Thank you, Mataji. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Oh. Raja, you have always made the starters. Since I was a boy. And Jaggi, you have always made the main course. Always. The balance between them is so perfect. I honestly can't imagine having one without the other. I think we know where this is going. Shut up, girl. Now, I was told that you have your own restaurants now. But you used to have one together. Jadu, it seems such a shame. And I was just wondering why. Well, perhaps you'd prefer not to talk about it. No, of course not. Stupid, stupid man. My brother can tell you why. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry, Madhurji. <laughs> My brother is mistaken. It is a question only for him. I'm afraid my older brother is confused. Maybe he can tell you why he sold one of our recipes. Acha? Trying to make me lose face in front of Madhur Jafri? Huh? This is a new law. Lose face? You did that a long time ago, when you stole from your family. Hey! सबके सामने मुझ पे ऐसा झूठा इल्जाम लगाते हुए तुझे शर्म नहीं आती बदतमीज मुझे बदतमीज बुलाते हो यू डैम धोखे बास दिस इज व्हाई दिस इज व्हाई मधुर जी माय ब्रदर्स टेंपर इज इंपॉसिबल हाउ डेयर यू यू कैन बी ट्रेन एंड स्टील फ्रॉम योर ओन मदर एंड कॉल मी इंपॉसिबल आई टोल्ड यू वंस बिफोर नेवर ब्रिंग आवर मदर इनटू इट आई विल डैड He had a heart attack. What? But it's relatively minor. Cardiologist's an old friend. He says he's absolutely fine. 
can go and see him if you like. I shouldn't have phoned you. I just... Oh, no, don't be silly. Go and see your father. Nothing wrong with me. They still want to keep me in for a few days. You've had a heart attack? <laughs> a little one. The doctor said it was like having bad indigestion. Have you seen this menu? Huh? <laughs> if I eat here, that'll kill me. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this guy. You scared us, Dad. Whose fault is that? You're both to blame for what happened. Me? I'm in hospital, half dead, and you say this? Because it's the truth. Why can't you both just accept that? Guys, uh, take it easy. Shalini? You're right. I'm sorry, Dad. I don't want to get you worked up. Then don't talk about him. He has caused all of this. Did we win? I don't know. We haven't been home. You stayed all night? Of course. <laughs> Go home and get some rest. That's a good idea. Come on. Shalini, cook something for me. It'll make me feel much better. I never see you cook. I never have the time. Relaxing. It suits you. You should do it more. Sorry about what happened, but I can't apologize to your father. Will you at least come and say goodbye to him? What? Are they sure about this? Dad? Uh oh. How are you feeling? Uh, they gave me a William. <laughs> feeling great. <laughs> did you get me some food? I did. But I want you to see someone first. What is he doing here? I wanted to give you this. Yellow. To marry Or to make goodbye be Canada. Before you say anything, just listen. You lied to me. Yes. Let him go. Okay, if both of you don't listen to what I have to say right now, you will never see me again. All I wanted is for both of you to be at my wedding. And this is where we end up. This is what Dad, I... Dad, please, shut up. Let me finish. I agreed to come, Uncle, but please he... shut up, too. You two are going to talk, or I'll never come back here. All right, then. That's fine. I'm leaving. And I won't see either of you again. Shall we? You don't mean this. Don't you know me, Dad? Shalini, I will talk to you.
मुझे क्यों नहीं पता था कि वो रेसिपी बेचने वाले हो मेरे बताने से पहले ही मुझे चोर कह दिया इफ यू वॉन्टेड मनी फॉर सिलीनी स्कूल फीस आई वुड माइंड मैं बोल रहा था नहीं मानता सिलीनी मेरी भी बेई बेटी है रेसिपी सिर्फ तुम्हारी नहीं थी मेरी थी नहीं वो रेसिपी हमारी माँ की थी और वो नहीं चाहती थी कि तुझे पता चले मैं नहीं मानता तो मैं क्या झूठ बोल रहा हूं वी कैन गो टू वन अदर डॉक्टर इट्स नॉट वट आई वॉन्ट बट आई डू वॉन्ट यू टू डू समथिंग फॉर मी माँ इंडिया जाना चाहती थी घूमना चाहती थी वो बनारस देखना चाहती थी मन की शांति चाहिए थी उसे लीलू सोनू को पैदा करके हॉस्पिटल से लौटी ही थी और तेरी हालत बहुत खराब चल रही थी Don't want Jackie to worry. He's still my little boy. I want you to sell my pickle recipe to the company that wants it. If you take any money out of the business, Jackie will find out. I don't want him to know I don't have long. तुमने मुझे क्यों नहीं बताया था कि मां मर रही थी उसने मना किया था मैं उसे आखिरी बार भी नहीं देख सका वो यही चाहती थी लेकिन तुम मुझे बता सकते था हमेशा की तरह उसने हर परेशानी से तुझे दूर रखा क्या ये तुझे दिखाई नहीं दिया इसलिए मुझे नहीं बताया था तुम लगता था वो मुझे ज्यादा प्यार करती थी नहीं इसलिए नहीं बताया क्योंकि मैं माँ की हर बात मानता था वो जो कहती थी मैं करता था अगर तू मेरी जगह काम करना चाहता था तो मैं वहां से हट जाता था क्योंकि माँ हटने के लिए कहती थी मुझे मेरा पतीला मेरा करछी यहां तक कि मेरा क्रिकेट बैट भी मैं तुझे दे देता था मुझे लगता था कि तुम मेरे बड़े भाई हो इसलिए नहीं नहीं इसलिए क्योंकि माँ मुझे देने के लिए कहती थी तुमने हमेशा जो कुछ भी मांगा वो सब तुझे मिला पर तो मैं बच्चा था तो। लेकिन बचपन में तुझे जो किया वो ठीक नहीं था पर वो सब मैं इसलिए करता था बिकॉज मैं तुम्हारे जैसे बनना चाहता था I wanted to be like you. I looked up to you. Don't you see that?
um, everything here I cooked. The recipe for the cauliflower took my grandmother 20 years to get right. I tasted it and told her it was perfect. I was six, and it's one of my happiest memories. Taste it. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. This is my mum's recipe. The one dish she made for my dad that nobody else made. Nobody's made it since she died. Taste it. Mmm. And the samosas are for you. Oh my god. That's um chocolate and mango ma and a little bit of vanilla. There's a photo of you as a boy sitting on a swing looking at another boy's ice cream, chocolate, mango and vanilla. You remember that? <sighs> you looked so tragic. When I saw that picture, I decided at that moment that I was in love with you. You see, I thought if I promised to make you a different dish every week with a story for the rest of our lives, so you wouldn't miss anything and I wouldn't keep anything from you ever again, that maybe we could play catch up on the things that I should have told you but was too thoughtless to realise and that y you... If you'd... I gave you your ring back, would you stop babbling? Yes. Yes, I would. Good. Just so I know. And just in case, you still okay with an Indian wedding? I hear it's a really big deal with your dad. I'm okay with any wedding. Good. Just in case. Of course, on the off top. Mm, yeah. 